This question was requested by Shanks. Question 5 of year 8, October, November. And I did try to ask him which party he was looking for and he replied with yes sir, which was really funny. So I'm assuming that he wants me to answer all the parts. So let's start with part A. To avoid an island, a ship travels 40 kilometers from A to B and then 60 kilometers more from B to C. The bearing of B from A is 80 degrees and the angle ABC is 115 degrees. The ship leaves at 11.55. At 11.55. It travels at an average speed of 35 km per hour. Calculate to the nearest minute the time it arrives at C. So we have to calculate the time it took from here all the journey till C. First of all, to find the time, the formula is total distance divided by total time taken. Oh, sorry, that, that was for speed. To find the time, it's total distance divided by speed it's the same formula actually so the total distance was 40 plus 60 over speed which is 35 this will give me 2.857 this is in hours because our calculation is in hours so we have to convert we can take the two hours but for this this is not a complete hour it's in it we have to convert this into minutes first of all let's add the two hours it will become two hours for 11 it will become 13 to 55 now as per the 0.857 we have to convert it into minutes so we will multiply it with 60 just the 0.8575 so we'll get times 60 this one only this one we'll get 51.4 minutes now we still have to add the 51.4 minutes here so if we add five more minutes here so it will become 14.0 so I have added five more minutes and I have now 46 minutes still to be added so I will just add 46 minutes here so my time will be 1446 and that's my answer for part A 1446 now for part B because there is no space to answer in the older versions of the paper I think you guys used to get the answer sheet separately okay for part B find the bearing of A from B so we have to start from B and we have to end up at the line which is going towards A. So I start from here. The bearing means always from we will start from the north of the B and we have to end up here at A. So I'm looking for this whole angle. Now obviously I don't know this angle. I just know this 115 and this remaining I still don't know. What about this one? If I can find this one. We know th this is these, this is a north line, this is a, the north line, both of them are parallel. So the line, so the angle between these two should add up to 180. So, okay, these two should add up to 180. So this should be the 100, because 100 plus 80 will give us 180. So it's the interior angles of the two parallel lines should give us, should add up to 180. So this one is 100. This completes the whole circle, right? So the whole circle is always 360 minus this because this is what I do not want. I want the remaining part. So it will be the whole 360 degrees minus 100, which will give me 260. Okay? So part B1 is 260. Okay? Part B2. We have to find the bearing of C from B. This is very simple. So from B, I have to find 
C. This line is going to C. So only this part. So because I know the whole part, this the whole part is hundred and uh, it's two hundred and sixty. So if I remove this part, which is obviously which is what I do not want, I just want it till here, isn't it? So if I remove a hundred and fifteen from two hundred and sixty, I will get hundred and forty five, which is B two. One forty five. Okay. Now let's uh, move on to the next part. The next part is C. Calculate the straight line distance AC. So we have to find this distance from A to C. And you can see we have one length, another length, and the third length which is what we are looking for and one angle in the triangle so it's three sides and one angle we will include the size what which we are looking for to know if we have to use cosine or sine for sine it's two angles two side for cosine formula it's three sides and one angle so this is what is suitable here so the cosine formula to find the side is the side which we are looking for I will say it x square is equals to the other two sides square 40 square plus 60 square minus two times the two sides which is 40 and 60 again times cos angle the opposite angle to the side which we are looking for is 115 and when you calculate this side using the uh, using your calculator you will get 7, 2, 2, 8.5 and it's a long answer so I will just take it in the value in the calculator and I will root it because this formula is x square so it will be x is equals to root this value in the calculator I will keep it here so I will say square root answer and I will get 85.02 And because I want the final answer in three significant figure, I can say it's 85, zero kilometers. Okay, so this is my part C, 85 kilometers. Now for part D, we have to calculate the angle BAC. Angle BAC. Where is the angle? Okay, B, A, C. So this is what we are looking for this time. Now for this one, this time we will have three sides we already have and we just have one angle and we are looking for another angle. So at least we have two angles and two or more sides. So two angles, two sides is the sine formula okay and another hint is that we already used the cosine formula so it's very likely that we will not use it again in the same question at least so it's this time we will use the sine formula for sine formula we need the opposite side always of the angle which we know so for this one we are looking for this angle let me say this one is x and let me remove this x here and let me say this was 85 okay now the opposite is this one 60 so we'll use this one and for this angle we will use this side now we cannot use this side because we don't know the angle here okay and it will be very lengthy to find this angle first and so on and in the question let's say in your previous part you were not able to find this 85 in this question you can assume any value and you can say I'm assuming this value in the question and you will get full marks for this part at least if you are able to get the correct answer so if you didn't get your part C still you can get full marks in part D. Okay, so just assume any value or any value. Anyway, so let's start this one. So the sine x over its opposite side, which is 60, is equals to sine the other angle 115 over its opposite side. Whatever my answer was, I will just use it here. Okay and to find this one this 60 is being divided on this side on the other side of the equal it will be multiplied 
so I will have sine x is equals to sine 115 times 60 over 85 isn't it and then my final working will be x is equals to sine inverse sine 115 times 60 over 85 right and I will get x is equals to 39.77 okay so this will be my part D now for part E we have to calculate how far C is east of A okay let me just remove this one let me write first write the answer 39.77 and for this one we actually had a range of value just because of the rounding errors so even if you had 39.81 till up to that it would have been correct now for the final part we have to find how far C is east of A okay so how far is C on the right side of A. East is on the right side, isn't it? So East is exactly on the right side. So this actually becomes my right angle triangle because it's coming directly from the north. It's the same line which is coming to the north. East is on the right side 90 degrees from the north, okay? So this becomes my right angle triangle with this length is 85 and I need to find at least one side this this X is now 39.77 right 39.77 this angle X and to find this angle it's very simple because this hole is a north line this hole is a straight line the straight line should add up to 180 out of the 180 if I take out this one and this angle I will have this angle as the remaining one so it will be 180 minus 39.77 minus 80 right I will get 60.23 okay so this angle here is 60.23 now this becomes a very straightforward after once you have found this angle it should become very straightforward for you because it's a right angle triangle right with this side is 85 and this angle is 63.23 sorry 60.23 not 63 and we are looking for this length this is how far east is C from A isn't it so we can use our suka toa which for this one we'll use sine so sine 60 Point two three is equals to opposite side x over the hypotenuse side this one the longest side 85 and we will just multiply 85 with sine 60.23 to get the answer and I get 73.78 and so on if I just want to draw on two three significant figures it will be 73.8 okay and this will be my final answer and this and that's it I think there are no parts no more parts thank you for watching